We're gonna keep on keeping on with blue white control. One game one against um, Tamo Twin. And let's see what we've got in match two. Just say one match one, not game one. All right, on the play. Okay, decent hand, some removal, um, some early disruption. Um, I like leading off with the flooded strand. Mystic. We're on the elves. I'm not going to path that because it would be just a replacement there. It counts towards uh gives him an elf towards his count, which is kind of a, th a thing to, to be concerned about. But um, it's a small trade off to just give him a land for a, for a mana dork anyway. Oh, great. Alpha. <clears throat> okay, so my mana leak is going to be reserved for collective companies at this point. Oh, I can counter that one. Um... I think I'd do that. He's got something better that he wants to uh, to lodge in there. Uh, it's a spell skite, of course. Okay, so what we can do is we can path the skite, and that gets him closer to the four land count. I can eventually tech edge his cavern. Misty Rainforest. Yep, nothing I can do about that. Um, if he does play another elf, I think we go path path. Take out the spell sky and take out the heritage druid. Let's let him redirect though. Let's see what he does with that. And maybe he won't. Maybe he'd rather have a spell sky. Who knows? Okay, so he's searching for an island. He's gonna redirect to this boss guy. Rare breeding pool, I suppose. Okay, and now we can pass the heritage. is at four lands as long as he decides to search for one okay forest in the play <coughs> I 
Cool. So Azuri is going to eat a counter spell if he plays that. Um, as is Arc Arc Druid. So really, all of the small insignificant elves are the ones that that could be cast. Though Dwinin's elite is pretty bad. All right, scavenging ooze is pretty good for him. I uh, pretty much just have to say okay to that. That we can counter, but we're not going to. Alright, so maybe I got a too aggressive with the land destruction plan. Who knows? I'm gonna see if we can't trick him into attacking with the scavenging ooze and blocking. Oh, no, he's got two creatures in the. No, that uh, heritage dirge should be path. Eat your paths, he says. Okay. All right, two in hand. What do we got? Let's try a resto angel and block here. Let's double check that we've got one creature. Yeah. We could be opening the floodgates for something much worse. But we do have three Supreme Verdict in the board in the main deck, excuse me. Come on now. Collected company. It's coming for five. What's well, five? Okay, it changed his mind. Okay, what is going on? <laughs> no. Okay, passes the turn. Okay, got tech edge. Now is this collected company to block or what? And then do we blast the breeding pool? Maybe yes. Okay, 
max equals three. We can't have that. Breeding pool dies. Not sure what he wants blue for, but he can't have it. The thing about the Alps deck is it has it can be so explosive with uh, with the cords and with the collective companies, but if you can control the threats, all it does is draw like the worst top decks in the world and like Llanowar Alps and Elvish Mystics and like top deck carriage drew when there's nothing on the board is pretty sad too. Or Dwinin's Elite. He's got another one. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he's going for three here. <coughs> so that would be Azuri. Or Archdruid. Maybe he doesn't know. I'm trying a lot of lands this game. One, two, three, four, five non lands only. Now, mirror entity. Okay, that's threatening. I need to draw removal. Ah, oh, that'll do. Well, let's attack first. <clears throat> and I'm going to hold the planes to just kind of bluff like I've got something here. Planeswalker would be a good draw at this point. Okay, he's got a creature on board. <clears throat> Man, all the lands in the world. I can't complain, two of them were tech edges. I can accept that. All right, I'm only down to 15, though. In fact, he's damaged himself more. Well, I suppose my resto helped the situation a little bit. And that's a pretty bad draw, too, spell snare. There really aren't a lot of two drops in that deck that I, I'm worried about. Okay. See an Alspec. Oh, All right. Got a feeling that. Yep. I wish Mystic is getting, getting deadly. Another one. Okay, at least his draws are pretty bad too. Jace. Last breath. Alright. Now do I last breath before damage and get the Rex Sage? Um Okay, he is attacking with all of them. Okay, since he's attacking with all of them, he's telling me he doesn't have anything else that he wants to do with his elves. So we're gonna hit that. We're gonna take two. I'm gonna slow our clock down a little bit. Um a uh, collected company would be a total blowout right now if he draws into an archdruid. 
Apparently he's not going to try that. Or he doesn't have it. <clears throat> Man, he forgot about the best part of that card. Supreme Verdict. I don't know if this is the time to do it. We can take some more abuse. One, two, three, four, five, six. He's got one card in hand. Yeah, I think we wait. Okay, we're at five. All right, he's smart. He's not going to overcommit. There's my Elspeth. One, two, three, four, five, six. Beautiful. All right, let's put my land out. So I've got mana for uh, protection. Nothing you can do about that. Just skip me there. <clears throat> okay, it's tapping out for something. Oh, attacking? Um, okay, so he does have a collective company, is what he's telling me. Otherwise, this would be a terrible attack. Going to take some chances here. I mean, odds are good he hasn't drawn into an Arctruid yet. This is exactly what I want because now he's almost tapped out. So if an Azuri is involved, he can only save one from Supreme Verdict, which apparently it is, and a visionary. Okay. Well, my tokens trade on the plus side unless he regenerates one. Awesome, so that's even better. So now I can get all of his creatures. I'm not even mad. <laughs> cool. All right, add green. Look at how good Elspeth is in modern. Did you ever think that a six mana planeswalker would be worth playing? Um, do we get the breeding pool now? Sure. Again, I don't know why blue is involved. Maybe it's so he doesn't take damage from Spell Sky. It seems counterintuitive since he's got to shock the breeding pool into play. I assume he's got more forests, yeah.
maybe I needed to save that for a Cavern of Souls or a Nykthos, I don't know. Nykthos seems irrelevant at this point. Okay. Heritage Druid. That's it. I can handle that. Ah, there's my colonnade. Okay, so of all the lands I drew, I finally got one of the four colonnades in the deck. Alright, so next turn, if all goes as planned, I can go Elspeth Ultimate. And attack for 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 damage. In the air. Okay. What is happening here? Oh, so he put a cabin of souls out and he passed. Got it. I suppose I don't need to attack with more than 18. Whatever, I will. That's why we play cards like that, right? And I've got a huge logic knot for anything he's got. <laughs> Alright, this guy is strange. one game against elves and despite drawing all the lands in the deck um, and none of the, the useful ones we were able to to stand up to them. Supreme Verdict does a good job of clearing a, clearing a creature based deck like that one so it's awesome to have three of those in the main. There is one in the side too. Let's actually look at that really quick. So our sideboard plan against elves would likely involve the other Supreme Verdict and not a whole lot else. The Dispels are pretty good against like Collective Company and Court of Calling because it's only one mana investment in it. But the Rest in Peace is useless, the Stony Silence is useless, the Core Firewalker is useless. And just about every other card in the sideboard doesn't do anything against the deck. The main deck though, just about everything I've got is functional against Elves. So that's, that's the plus side of that. Okay, thanks for watching.